Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through popular cloud storage as a for developers. So basically for developers, how or what are the cloud storages we are having? So we are having various cloud storages guys. So the first one is nothing but Amazon S3. So it is popular as S3 only guys. Most of us know it as S3, but the full form is a simple storage service. Okay, so Amazon simple storage service. Okay, so it provides object storage which is built for storing and recovering any amount of data from anywhere over the internet. Okay, so you can store any amount of data from anywhere. Okay, so it is durable, 99.9%, available, 99.99%, cost efficient, scalable, highly secured, data encryption is there. Data object may contain data with metadata. Right? Yes. So this is just an introduction you can say guys, because about these things we cannot write that much theory or explanation right so that's the reason why i just gave you some introduction of it it's a storage system okay so where you can store up to some limit right yes. so it is having these properties so the properties are these okay yes so the second storage is nothing but amazon elastic block storage okay so previously we stored in terms of objects right here we'll be storing in terms of blocks that's the major difference you can say so amazon elastic block storage that is nothing but ebs provides block level storage volumes for use with amazon ec2 okay so with ec2 you need if you want to use you will be using in this way okay so elastic cloud computing instances servers okay yes so blocks can be made and connected to EC2 instances and used okay same above advantages so basically any cloud storage will be having these only guys so basically they provide encryption durability availability scalability security and all those things okay yes similarly the last is nothing but your google cloud storage okay yes so this persistent storage is attached to google cloud server that is nothing but a google compute engine so basically this is the cloud computing platform guys for google so google compute engine for using that if you want storage you will use this google cloud storage guys okay yes so the data are stored again here also the data is stored in terms of objects and these objects are called as containers guys sorry these objects are stored in containers and these containers are called as buckets okay okay so here again you can store some gvs of data guys or tbs of data okay yes so billing and everything will be as per your usage okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about these storages right yes so now we are done with the second unit also guys okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the some important topics or review of the second unit after that we'll be moving on to the third unit okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching